Hi, we're Tom and Dom. We've traveled internationally and nationally in the past, but 2021 led us to take a U.S. road trip living out of a van to continue this passion. We picked up our camper van from Escape Camper Vans in New York and first headed to Cleveland, Ohio. In our last episode, we stumbled upon amazing treats from Grandpa's Cheese Barn en route to Cincinnati, where we walked along the River Walk with sounds from the Reds game nearby. Today, we are headed to do, see, and eat so many iconic things in Louisville. Good morning, everybody. We are here still in Kentucky at our hotel that we stopped last night, and we are ready to hit the road and travel over to Louisville, Kentucky. So we checked out of our hotel around 10 a.m. this morning. The hotel was very clean. We slept well, we feel refreshed, and we only have about an hour, hour and a half drive. So again, if you guys do enjoy this video at any time, hit the subscribe button and like the video down below. Let's hit the road and let's go to Louisville. All right, so we are currently here at Church Hill Downs, which is a huge, huge horse racetrack. Church Hill Downs is where the Kentucky Derby is held annually every single year, usually within the first or second weekend of May. The Kentucky Derby is usually a one or two week festival where horses compete and race and people bet on their racing and all these horses, it's a huge deal. But people can also come here throughout the year and see smaller events, horses race, their practices, in addition to the huge racetrack. On the left hand side looking at it, there is a Kentucky Derby Museum that shows all the winners, all the stats, and so much more that you can think of regarding the Kentucky Derby. So the first thing that comes to Kentucky Derby when I think of it is people wearing these huge hats, floppy hats, and really nice suits and dresses. If I ask you, don't hold back on me. Only Slugger Museum so we can see the world's largest baseball bat in other history. We are about to head into the Louisville Slugger Factory and Museum where they personally make professional and of course recreational baseball bats. For general admission it is $16 for an adult so we got two for both of us but they take you on a tour they show you how each wooden bat is made and finished. Our store Alright everybody, I'm about to do batting cage. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> what bat did you get? I got the Johnny Bench bat here. Johnny Bench for my dad. There you go. All right, everybody, we just got back in our car from doing the Louisville Slugger tour inside the factory. And I have to say, that tour, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. Two bats for free at the end of the tour. We paid $16 just to do the tour. So when you first walk in, you get greeted with like a museum of where you can see different players like Johnny Bench, Babe Ruth, DiMaggio, a bunch of different players. And it kind of shows you different memorabilia that they have, like their bats and their game-worn jerseys. And then after that, you get took on a tour and then they show you like how the bats are cut down from the woods in Pennsylvania how they replace all the trees and basically the entire process of building one of these bats so basically the bat starts off with a piece of wood called I believe a billet it's basically just a cylinder of wood and then they pick from those cylinders which ones are actually going to be turned into baseball bats you can select different types of wood like maple oak and ash and each one has a different things like they're more or durable or they'll hit the ball farther or it's more flexible bat and etc they then cut the billets of wood into the shape of the bat and then also there was areas where they were just stamping and stickering the louisville slugger logo onto the bats look how it's been It was really cool to just walk through this factory and see the workers actually working and shaping the bat that we know and love today. 
towards the end of the tour, you then got to see the bats being dipped and hung and dried. And I have to say, my hat's off to all the workers in that factory because it seemed like a very tedious job. It was a very loud environment. When they were drying the bats from the paint in the different colored bats, there was a very strong fume of paint. And I was like, wow, I can't imagine like smelling that literally all day. So now we're gonna eat lunch, kind of like an early dinner at Claudia Sanders Dinner House. So I kind of just found this on the fly. We were trying to look up some foods native to the Kentucky area. And we were looking up iconic foods and Kentucky Fried Chicken kind of just like went over our heads. And this place was actually number three on the top eight iconic places to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken here in Kentucky. So while the other places on that list were kind of more like diners or restaurants, this is actually a mansion style home. All right, so now we're gonna go on and eat some Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right, Dom, let's go get chicken. Says please, please. Please other door. Where's the other door? Oh, look at this. They got all the Kentucky Derby horses and stuff here. That's really cool, Dom. Dom, how cute is that fireplace? It's adorable. You could just eat your fried chicken. Oh my God, and look at the staircase. I feel like I'm in someone's home. The server's gonna be right over. You guys enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so we are here at Claudia Sanders Dinner House, and this is the menu for those of you that are curious. So their chicken platter entrees are all you can eat, and oh my god, this place is literally beautiful, Dom, isn't it? Tom, how good are the muffins? They're so buttery, so flaky and light. And warm too. They're beautiful, they taste beautiful. Okay, so currently we just ordered our food. I ordered Jennifer's chicken sandwich and Tommy ordered the- The Claudia special. The Claudia's special. And I ordered the sweet tea and it's absolutely amazing. I'm sweet tea in the south. I'm on my second one and I didn't even get my food. Sweet tea in the south is huge, so of course I had to get it. Dom's gonna go in for her first bite. Let us know your first fried chicken. Your first Kentucky fried chicken. I know. Like this is a big deal. Alright, go ahead. Ready? It's so hot, but it's so good. It's very soft, but it's very moist and juicy. And it just like melts in your mouth as soon as you bite into it. I it's can... fried, but it's not like too fried where you I... can't like bite into it. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's flaky, yes. We have some work we're gonna do here. Okay guys, so I decided to go with the Claudia Sander special, which is two pieces of fried chicken, a vegetable of your choice, and mashed potatoes. I decided to go with the caramel apples here and the mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my first piece of Kentucky fried chicken. Let's just get this nice rip. Eh? Oh my God. Oh my God. Words, give me that words. Seriously, that's so delicious. It's like not too greasy. It's so good. Oh it's not God. too fried, right? No. All right, everybody. If that doesn't tell you how good the food was, maybe Where'd that, <laughs> maybe that will. She's literally about to fall asleep. She did some damage to her soup. But we got this like sauce for like the chicken or the mashed potatoes. Not really sure, but it was so oh, good. Speech. Dom's now on her third sweet tea. <laughs> It was just too good and so homey and we just feel really, really good. All right, we are here at the Wingate by Winham Hotel. We're here a little early today because we need a little bit of resting up for tomorrow as we are gonna head out towards Nashville. We are doing a lot. We are still new to this whole traveling and doing a video every day thing. So it does take a little bit of effort and a little bit out of us. So we are gonna rest up for the rest of the day. Just kind of chill out in the hotel because sometimes those are the best dates. But we are just getting our luggage out here and we're gonna check into our room right here. So be sure to see what room we have next. All right, Dom, we're in our room. How is that bed? So comfortable and so I'm just like so content right now after that amazing fried chicken. <laughs> you look content. You look like it just knocked you out. I am. I literally just like don't want to move. I just want to sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm so comfortable. 
So yeah, so this is our room. We have a nice little office space for me to edit videos again. We have a nice couch over here. Again, we have a fridge and microwave. And we have a nice big TV for a nice view. And Dom is acting crazy, get away. <laughs> this view of Kentucky. All right, everybody, that wraps up today's video of doing Louisville, Kentucky. And it was an awesome day. It was, we had so much fun exploring the Kentucky Derby, the Slugger Museum, and eating some of that delicious just fried chicken. Oh my god, it was so good. <laughs> I really could go for more and I know when I look back at these videos I'm gonna be drooling watching yes. that. So if you guys are new around here, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It really does mean the world to us and like the video if you did enjoy it at any time and we will see you guys again tomorrow for our next journey. See ya! Alright everyone, so we are officially in downtown